What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. All right, so in this one here, we're gonna be taking a look at Jean Grey's new uniform, her Marvel Girl uniform. Now that I have it on my live account here because we did already do a video on it with the APK. Um, and since I did decide to go ahead and get it here, I might as well make another video so I can give you a comparison of how she actually performs on my account uh, versus the APK with this new uniform change. Because if you remember on the APK, I did not see much of a improvement uh, for Jean here. It was pretty minimal in terms of the change from her old uniform to the new uniform. At least that's what I noticed on APK. We'll see if that's the same here. So first of all, I do have this uniform upgraded to heroic. I didn't get it to mythic quite yet. Uh, I figured I'd just save my resources because I don't have the uniform options for legendary and mythic. So I'm not really gonna get those bonuses anyway. So I might as well just uh, leave it here for now. Um, as for the rest of my build on Jean here, I do have some Uru on her. I've got some Odin's Blessings as well. We've got all of her skills leveled up. Uh, her Ice Await, I have a uh, fully awakened Overdrive. And then for her custom gear here, we just have a Fire Damage Recovery 200% proc. So that's what Jean's looking like. If we take a look at her details here, I've got... Um, it's going to be maxed attack speed and crit rate after she uses her fifth skill to get the buff from that because she buffs her crit rate and attack speed so those will be maxed out uh crit damage is okay it's getting up there and then we have maxed out ignore defense and skill cooldown so overall um i've put a bit of work into uh jean here i've invested uh, quite a bit of resources in her and of course i have her at tier three so yeah what we're going to do today is just take a look at the uniform here in war boss ultimate and i will actually do a little bit of pvp here to show you how she does in timeline but i will uh, preface that by saying i don't play pvp very much so I'm not going to be a good authority on if this is going to be a big change for her in PvP because I just don't play PvP very much. So I'll just show you what I've noticed in terms of the differences between the two uniforms in PvP. So with that being said, let's hop into Warboss Ultimate first and then we'll do uh, some timeline after that. All right, so here we are at Cole Obsidian Warboss Ultimate. Um, doing a stage 67 here just because this was one of the few stages that I could find that did not have blade twisters and I did want to do a pretty high stage here so that um, I could see if there's any kind of noticeable difference in her damage. Uh, I'm just using this random team here. We have Kitty for her leadership because it was 65 or 55% for mutants with 6% crit rate, even though I don't need the crit rate. And then uh, I was just playing around with Mystique a little bit, so that's why she's here. And of course, Mystique has her same tier two passive as any of the other support characters 40 well a little bit less it's 40 percent against super villains instead of 45 percent so yeah she's got a tier two support there oh and the uh, strikers i'm using i'm not using any all defense down strikers because i just want to see gene's damage on its own i don't want any help from the all defense down so we're using basically all mind control strikers um except for what like luna i think in there I don't remember who I put as strikers, but I remember they're just all mind control strikers. So we're gonna pop over. We're gonna do the uh, fifth into the fourth skill, get the proc. Now we're gonna do the third skill here, get that buff going. Do this again and get time frozen. Fantastic. Right when we're about to get our good damage because we had the mind resist down. So that's going to affect our damage here. So yeah, let's get this going. Okay, there we go. You can see a little bit of the damage here. And I was just going to play for a minute here to see how much damage she can do in a minute. We're going to go time frozen again, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not. That is good. So we're going to go here. And we'll get one more good proc off, hopefully. Yeah, not bad. Um, again, there is no all even down strikers here, so her damage may seem pretty low. But uh, also, I am not using the tier 3 skill just because that's not going to change between the uniforms or tier 3 skills going to be the same so i just want to see how her base um, kind of kit is working here and i'm seeing pretty similar results to what i was doing a little bit earlier or when i was running this a little earlier getting only about one bar down in the minutes so quite slow here uh, so now we're going to switch over to her old uniform and see what that one looks like Okay, and with our old uniform here, of course, we're going to be using a slightly different skill rotation so that we could take advantage of uh, all of the effects from this uniform here. There we go, finally loaded in. I was like, all right, what's going on here? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to use what I like to do with this uniform is we do the 4-5-3, and then we do 
There we go. We go into a three for our proc there. And we teleported, didn't we? So we canceled out the damage from three. Fantastic. Well, we did get time frozen though at the start of the other fight, so I guess that evens it out. So I'll, I'll just take that as it balancing itself. Okay, there we go. And I did do a few runs with this just uh, beforehand, just to see kind of what I should expect if we don't get, you know, completely out of rotation here um, in terms of the damage. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, the bar is still barely moving, so they're very similar so far in damage. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, we parked a little too soon on that one, so that's going to hurt the damage a little bit here. Get one more in. And, yeah, a little bit short. Um, this is close to what I have saw on my other runs. She was actually getting a little bit further on the other runs, so... Uh, in terms of damage, the uniforms are pretty similar. It looks like the new uniform probably beats it out by about, like, uh, I don't know, like, 10-15% more damage or something like that I want to say um, so for me I didn't notice a huge difference in terms of the damage but maybe if you have like a CTP of rage on here you, you might see more of a difference in damage because you're getting that extra mind resist down from the change on her new uniform so that could stack with the rage and you might be uh, yeah seeing a lot more damage that way but in terms of just my quick comparison here with just a regular damage proc obelisk and no um um what's it called all defense down she's looking pretty similar in terms of the two uniforms um i do of course like the new uniforms animations they look really cool um the uniform itself looks nice i like her look a little bit more as marvel girl than the uh, x-men red look here but uh, that's just cosmetics in terms of the performance i don't see too much of a difference so let's go ahead and move on to pvp and i'll show you kind of what i noticed over there with my limited pvp experience and my limited runs that i did with the two uniforms all right so here we are over at timeline uh timeline battle so the person that i was fighting for this test oh if we need to go over to lee well, I guess it's exactly the same. Uh, the League Rankings or the Weekly Rankings. I was fighting this Carl guy right here. So let's go ahead and load him up again. Uh, he's got Sentinel or Nimrod in this case with the uniform here. And then he has uh, Marvel Girl. So Jean with the uniform and Colossus. So I was using this team here, Jean, Captain Marvel and Deadpool. So let's just go ahead and load in here. And I've done already, like I said, a few fights here. So I know how she was performing kind of overall after, after a few fights. I think I did the fights four or five times with each uniform uh, or with each look here to see how she did. So let's load in here and then um, we'll go from there if we get, get in here. There we go. All right, so for Nimrod here, I do need to be a little bit careful. I'm gonna mainly let it just do auto, uh, but except for right there. I just wanna tap the fifth skill because Nimrod, if he does his fourth skill and then his fifth skill right after, then actually uh, Gene will die. So the 5-4 combo from Nimrod is enough to actually kill my Jean when she doesn't have a recovery up, so I do need to be careful about that. Um, as you can see here, he's got all of his uh, buffs against mutants, so I have reduced damage, and of course we have Colossus there. So we're not doing much damage here, and it does show damage immunity for a lot of these things, or energy immunity, but we just wait for the tier 3 skill, let that go off, and then we kill Nimrod. So now we're moving on to the more interesting fight here, which is... Uh, the new look gene versus the old look gene and I can't tell what's going on here um, I think we are losing so far but hopefully we'll be able to get out of this there we go so we got our fifth skill off and now we're just going to go to town oh she actually survived that impressive um, yeah so we all know how strong Jean is with this uniform here her X-Men red uh, look she's been uh, yeah causing a lot of problems for everybody for a while now so I wouldn't really expect too much different. There we go. She was able to handle that pretty easily. Uh, Colossus isn't going to stand a chance here, especially since we have our tier three. And that's kind of what I saw with my battles earlier. Jean with her X-Men red uniform didn't really have much uh, issue dealing with this team. She was able to keep them locked down, which is the main thing. So now if we switch our uniforms here and go to the new look equip that and then head back over 
uh, you'll see that there is going to be a little bit of a difference and it's just because of the change in her fourth skill and the change in her third skill so overall with this new uniform i actually think she performs a little bit worse in pvp but again i don't play pvp very much so i'm not going to be a good kind of authority on pvp i don't play at the high ranks uh, i mean i am in vibranium but that's just because i just auto and my gene can usually do fine on auto um, so here we go, now she's going in here. It's gonna be the same story, our damage is gonna be pretty much exactly the same. We're gonna to have to just wait for our tier three skill to come up. But after doing multiple uh, multiple runs against this guy here and fighting his Jean Grey, I found that the X-Men red look is a lot easier to keep the enemy locked down on uh, because of the iframe on the third skill. So since she has a full iframe on the third skill, that's so much extra time for her to get the cooldown back and to um, just be protected by that iframe. And then with this look here, she only has a very, very short iframe on the third skill at the start, and then she goes out of the iframe. And because of that, I was getting killed a lot more often and I wasn't able to lock down the enemy as consistently because the third skill wasn't an iframe. So I think that hurts her a little bit. And then in terms of the fourth skill, um, she doesn't use it pretty much at all for me on auto. When I was fighting this uh, enemy gene here, she was actually using the fourth skill every once in a while. And the fourth skill did seem to do okay as long as you've used the fifth skill first, because then you can keep um, guard breaking them. And we might die here if we don't get out of this. Let's try to see if we can get out of this. Um, Cause see, yeah, it can guard break you a little bit. Oh, we've got our tier three skill. So yeah, we definitely won. Um, so what was I saying again? Uh, the fourth skill. Yeah, so the fourth skill can keep them guard broken afterwards, which is nice. But it doesn't seem as good as our previous fourth skill where it can just be cast and canceled immediately. And then you can go into your iframe or use the second skill to try to get your time freeze or something like that. So overall, I don't know. I just don't think this uniform is as strong on defense and also as strong when you just leave the game on autoplay if you play manually i think this uniform could be better for you just because you can take advantage of them uh kind of channeling on the fourth skill and also the um uh, residual damage from the third skill so if you can time it so where you get them guard broken then you can keep them guard broken by using the fourth and third skills multiple hits kind of thing but I don't know, that's just my take on the uniform here. Let me know how you guys have been liking uh, the new uniform in terms of the timeline battles so far. I don't think the changes on the fourth and third skill help her. I think they make her worse for autoplay. But again, uh, that's just my quick kind of assessment here from seeing her. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think of the uniform. If you're having the same kind of thoughts or feelings about it as me or if you think it is actually a really big upgrade or actually not or even a downgrade if you think that she's performing worse with this uniform so yeah i'm curious to know what you guys think that's just my opinion here that the uniform doesn't seem like very much of an upgrade for either game mode pvp or pve so yeah that'll be it for this video here hopefully you guys enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one